Hello, YouTubers, explorers, adventurers, campers, overlanders, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is going to be a video on how to assemble the Adventure Index drawer system. It's a system that uh, I personally built, and uh, I struggled to try and find resources when I went to do it, so I figured I would build a kit for myself and then create those into some blueprints and make it shareable and free for you to be able to go online, download these, and build it yourself. Uh, this is specifically for the 4th gen Forerunner platform, but if you wanted to, you could probably adapt this. Uh, maybe not the side pieces, but at least the middle. And uh, it's completely modular, so you can do one drawer, you can do the, just the side drawers, you can do a combination, and uh, hopefully it helps you either travel the world, go to a park, you know, go camping, just keep your supplies in, whatever uh, helps you get out there and, and enjoy yourself, I think it's great. Step number one is we need to obviously empty out the back of the Forerunner. We need to make sure that there's nothing in there. Uh, there's also a panel back here that is a protective plastic. We removed that as well and we removed the tie down anchors that supported that. Uh, I'm leaving this panel in on the side. I've got all my electrical already wired up. I'm just feeling a little lazy. Uh, but it's the same operations over there as it is over here where it's empty. So either way you'll see how to do that. All right, so the first thing you guys are gonna wanna do is remove the screws from that location there as well as to the right over there. There's two anchor points and we're later going to use those as the points to secure the drawers themselves to the chassis and the body of the Forerunner. So right here, we're gonna remove that as well as this point right there. Next, we are going to secure in the side panel components. Uh, the best way to go ahead and do that is to show you how it's going to be secured. So it will be mounted actually to this anchor point right here. And with that anchor point, we will create kind of a uh, cantilever almost where it creates a pressure uh, by screwing in and pushing up onto that panel. And by the end, it'll be secured in place just like this is by one point. So we're going to assume you already went ahead and built this side panel which goes into the unit itself. So that simply gets placed uh, on the side here. It's not connected yet, but it goes over that anchor hook. And then we use a flat panel with a screw to create pressure between the two and expand and uh, therefore hold this modular piece into place. Now that we have our side wheel well components in place, we're gonna go ahead and put the carcasses in for the drawers. All that it means is it's the empty shell that the drawer goes into. Uh, they'll be mounted in two places in the rear to the actual body itself of the vehicle. And in addition to that, we'll be mounting them inside to the sides of the storage wheel wells on the front and the back, as well as on this side as well, the front and the back. Now that that's in place, we're gonna go ahead and put these screws in to connect this to the side panel over here, and we'll repeat the same process for this carcass as well to that side panel. Just to give you guys a better view, we're gonna go ahead and uh, mount these two to the side panel here. You just gotta make sure that your holes are lined up so that you are drilling into the threads rather than a piece of wood. And then we do the back. Next, we're going to put into place the washer along with the bolt that's going to mount to the body itself of the Forerunner. And now we're going to rinse and repeat for the other side. I have the electrical for my fridge running back here. This is my fridge mount. Uh, these are my mounts for my other storage units uh, that go on top of this, like my water, my propane. Uh, so I have a, there's a slit for a little hole here uh, for the box to get past this mount. This is for the seats. So you need to make sure that you align this slit uh, with this rail mount here for the chair. That's the difference between the uh, passenger side and the driver's side of the carcasses. I also have that wiring that I need to make sure I don't pinch. Now 
Now that we have the carcasses secured to the side pieces, we also want to secure them to each other. And I'll be doing that by putting screws in here uh, from the passenger side to the driver's side to keep this held together tight. What I failed to mention is that by this time, I had actually mounted the uh, drawer slides themselves already. And we just went ahead and screw mounted that in multiple locations all along the carcass itself. And that's done on both sides. You can see that it is mounted to the carcass. What I designed the drawers to do is have one non-locking slider and the other locks into place. Uh, that way it still keeps the drawer in place, but you don't need to have double locking. You can have one hand operation and it's, uh, it's a little bit cheaper as well. Let's go ahead and mount these up. I've found for myself it's a lot easier to do the first and then the third screw. It kind of keeps things in alignment a little bit easier. Now that we have the drawer mounted to the drawer slides, uh, we want to make sure it go ahead and, and locks in place. Uh, if it doesn't, it may be because uh, where it's taut and where it's secured to the drawers is too far uh, forward on the slides themselves, which means this is running into the face of the carcass and preventing it from locking. So if that happens, go ahead and back out these screws just slightly and pull very hard this way and it'll help make sure that it is secured as far forward as possible and then tighten them down and it should lock perfectly into place. Just like that. Now we have the one hand operation unlock. And we got a drawer, it locks into place. Perfect. Let's do it again for the uh, right hand side with the smaller drawer. I went ahead and I put the small drawer inside of the larger drawer on the right hand side. I mounted that the same way I did with this large left hand side drawer. I then placed that and secured that on the right hand side so the, uh, the system's complete. So this is what it looks like, completely uh, put together. I have my fridge on the left hand side and I store things on the right hand side. Uh, water, propane, things like that. Um, these open up with one hand operation for the larger drawers and the smaller drawers a two hand lock. And then we have coffee lift top hinges. And uh, that's for your mini bar or your kitchen supplies, whatever you need. This is where I store my tools along with my uh, lighting, my electronics, uh, propane tanks, what have you. And then on the modular sides, I have all my electrical going through here with the dual battery system and a fuse box. I've got USB ports, a cigarette lighter plug-in, and an inverter inside of here. And then on this side, I have just two uh, camping chairs that fold up pretty small. So that's the system itself. And now I'll put the fridge inside. I will put my propane tank on top, and you can see how it looks when I'm ready to go camping. This is the uh, Alu Cab fridge slider. I got it through OK Four Wheel Drive. You can ask for a RIN. Great people. And uh, this is the small size. It's all part of the parts list though. This is the 47 liter, 50 quart, I believe, uh, ARB fridge. It's not the smallest, but it's the second smallest. And uh, this is about as about big as you can fit with this size drawer system if you want it to still be able to come out with one hand operation and be able to close the rear hatch on this. It's actually a very tight fit. So make sure if you were to mount this on top of your build, 
make sure that you test fit it first to know where to drill this mount because you don't want it to be too far back but it also can't be too far forward. So as you can tell guys, it's pretty much uh, gotten dark here, so I should probably uh, go inside. But this is the drawer system itself. This is how I usually will use it. I'll keep my storage here. Nice cold beers in here, maybe some food. This uh, fridge slider really is a godsend. The Partner Steel Stove, make sure if you get it, you have them uh, custom put the uh, gas inlet on the left hand side, not the right hand side. Otherwise you run into problems with your gas hose hitting this uh, lift here. Uh, but that's pretty much it. That's the, the drawer system. I hope you guys like it. Um, if you could please, uh, this is a one man show. Uh, I built this just coming out of college. I thought this was something I wanted to do and I didn't have any time or resources. So going forward, I wanna make sure I can share this with people who also don't have the time and resources. Um, so show your friends, show your family. Donate if you can. Uh, download the plans though and, and build them and tag us on, on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and, and let us know what you're doing. And I, I definitely look forward to seeing uh, how your builds come out. Thank you so much and uh, take care. Please be sure to subscribe as well. Bye-bye.